Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink, and one more for sure <laughs> Valentine card, although technically this could be an anniversary card, just because card, whatever. I'm including it because I did put a Valentine sentiment on the inside. This was an idea I had kind of mulling around the back of my brain the last week or two. I'd got this um, you tur or Turn Me On stamp set from Lawn Fawn. I think this came out last year. I'm not sure. It's one of their little mini sets. It's super cute. So I had the idea in my head to create a fun light up card with this set. So that's what I sat down today and did. And I stamped the little light switch onto some Nina 80 pound cardstock with MFT's intense black ink. And then the little push me sentiment is from the push here stamp set from Lawn Fawn. And I will have everything linked with the supplies under the video as well as on my blog. And then I have a scrap of vellum here and I am stamping the um, light bulb image from that same little turn me on stamp set with some Versamark ink. And I'm embossing it with black embossing powder. And then after I've melted that with my heat tool, which doesn't take very long at all because it's vellum, I'm going to funnel that black embossing powder back into the container and set it aside. And then I'm using another coffee filter. I don't like using the same coffee filters for the same for different colors. I don't want to mix um, the you know little grains of embossing powders and contaminate them and anything. So I have a fresh coffee filter here and I stamp the center of the bulb with the Versamark ink and then this time I poured over silver embossing powder. So I've got two colors of embossing powder on this one little image and it's super cute. And then again funnel back the silver embossing powder, put the lid on it, and then I pulled out just a few Copic markers to um, color these in. So I colored this, the light bulb on the vellum from behind. I don't like touching my Copic marker nibs to embossing powder. Some people seem to get away with it. I don't like doing that because it tends to wreck the Copic nibs and I ain't gonna risk my markers doing that. I just, nope. So I like, and besides I like how it looks coloring from behind. So I did that on the light bulb. And then for the actual little light switch, I'm just using a few different shades of gray just to add a bit of shading and give it, you know, that little bit of depth. Very, very simple. So I just used the C4, C2, and then C0 to kind of blend that out. And then I grabbed my colorless blender just to really blend that out even more. Very simple. And then I'm going to use the coordinating dies for this little mini set. There's a little die for the light switch and a little die for the light bulb. So I've got the light switch die in place. And the bulb I'm actually going to die cut from the pattern paper, not from that stamped image. Because again, I have this whole plan going on in my head. So I have the Lawn Fawn. This is the perfectly plaid chill paper pack. So I have the blue pattern paper here. And that's going to be for the bulb. That's where I'm going to cut my window. But before I get to die cutting, I wanted to do my sentiment. So I grabbed the extra sentiment banners wafer die from Lawn Fawn. As well as some Lawn Fawn sunflower cardstock. And I'm going to stamp the You Turn Me On sentiment onto that sunflower cardstock with the Versamark ink. And in my head at first, I was like, well, I'll just heat emboss this with either the silver or the black. And then when I stamped, I was like, why don't I emboss it with both again? <laughs> that turned out so well in the light bulb. Let's do it on this. So I used the black embossing powder just on the word on. And I was just really careful to only pour it over that part of the sentiment and not let the emboss powder touch anything else. And then I poured the silver over the remaining sentiment, again, using those two separate coffee filters. So I'm not mixing up my embossing powders. And then I can melt this with my heat tool and the sentiment now has two different colors. And you can, you can make this harder if you want. You can, you know, mask things off, stamp them separately. This was the easiest and fastest way to do it, in my opinion. So got that all melted and then cleaned up my embossing powders, put everything away. Or aka shoved them off to the side of my desk, like... I normally do. Anyway, I got that die um, taped into place. I have everything taped with my washi tape here. I have an entire mess going on while I was making this. So I'm going to run all these through in one pass through my little Gemini Junior. So I have my window die cut from the pattern paper and I have my little light switch die cut and my sentiment die cut. And now to get to making this into a light up card. So I had die cut some black cardstock with the same die as this blue pattern paper. So they're the exact same size. And I held the blue pattern paper over it and just traced out my window with a pencil so that I can see it on my black cardstock. And then I marked where I'm going to be adhering my um, little light switch on the front. So that's where I know my battery is going to go. And I'm using my little Chibitronics um, Chibi lights. 
I did a video on this way back in the fall when I was so sick and lost my voice. <laughs> And I want to do this one is much simpler. The one I did in the fall, I used three lights and had to do like an insane amount of fiddling to make that one work. This was very simple. So I'm basically creating a little housing for my battery here. And it's just a piece of white cardstock cut to about the size of the battery and folded in half. And I'm going to adhere this into place. And then to make things easier, I'm going to take my pencil and just draw my little circuits for the positive and negative sides to create um, the circuit I need to make this light up with the battery and the little chibi light. So on those little tiny lights there, those are those triangle shaped things, it has a positive and a negative and it, it's marked. It has a little plus sign and a little negative sign. So all you want to do is create a circuit that will lead from the positive of the light to the positive side of the battery and same with the negative side. So I'm just marking everything with my pencil is because I find that gives me a better visual guide just so I know what I'm doing. And with this one again it's super super simple. It's a very short little circuit. I'm only using one light. So I've got everything laid out and drawn out and now I'm going to use the Chibitronics. This is their copper tape. It's very flexible. It's um, adhesive on one side. You never want to cut it when you're making your little circuit. So I fold it back in on itself when I'm, you know, going around little corners, anything like that, just like so. So you don't want to cut it because that's going to interrupt your little circuit. So I've created my negative side and now I'm going to do the positive side and I do have them a little bit too close there on the end. They're not touching, but they are a little too close and I'm going to fix that in a minute. But same thing, I'm going to kind of fold it over on itself and then lead it up and around the top little flap of the house I've created. So now I have my positive side. So I have my negative and my positive and this is where I discovered I did still have them a little too close together there on the end because I'm going to press my little light into place and it's not going to light up. And I was like, great, just great. <laughs> but all I have to do, and it was kind of hard to show on camera, but all I did was gently peel the light off. It's very sticky. So I'm going to gently peel the light off. You just kind of have to work your fingernail under it. So I carefully peeled it off and then I move the top little bit of the copper tape right there. So I'm just going to move it a little bit, just kind of scrape it aside with, again, with just with my fingernail, just so there's a bit more separation and that's going to create my little circuit. So I'm making sure that the negative is pressed to the top, the positive in the bottom, and now you can see it works perfectly. So when I press the top flap of that little housing close, it enables the battery to light up my little light. So now to actually get this all put together so that it works on my card, I'm going to add adhesive to the back of my pattern paper here so I can adhere my little vellum light bulb. So I just ran some Xyron adhesive around um, around the perimeter of the opening and then I'm just going to lay my pattern paper over that so that my light bulb's nice and centered and then I just took my scissors and trimmed off the bits of vellum that were kind of hanging over the edges just to keep things simple. And then to actually adhere this to this black cardstock with the battery and all the bits and pieces I'm just going to use some scotch foam tape. And I started with a double layer. I'm going to find out again that that wasn't enough. I kind of didn't think it was because this battery is pretty thick. Um, and I found with a double layer it's not quite thick enough because you definitely don't want it um, anything squished on top of this obviously because that's going to press the connection together and it's just going to wear out the battery. So I do um, foam tape all around that battery housing there because you want to keep that battery in place. And then um, all around the other areas, I this is where it was nice to have that pencil outline for the light bulb because I want to make sure to avoid putting foam tape there so you don't see it through the vellum. And I figured out that, yeah, two layers wasn't enough, so I added a third layer of foam tape so it does really kind of pop this up. It makes it quite thick, but the, it's worth it. You know, this extra effort is totally worth it because it's just fun. So I've got all my layers. This is really ugly and gross, but it's all going to get covered up. So all my three layers of foam tape now are everything's in place. And now I can adhere this pattern paper over top. So it completely covers up that mess. It covers up the circuit, the battery, everything. And it's just, it's so fun. I love it. So I'm going to adhere my little light switch over the area where the battery is located. So it says push me. And I got my little light bulb all lit up that just... It's the best feeling when things start coming together and it's like, it's working. So I'm going to adhere my sentiment as well to this. 
And now I can go on and actually finish the rest of my card. So I kept the card very simple, obviously, because, you know, all the effort and the work went into, like, creating the actual, you know, focus and battery housing and everything. So I had die cut another piece of black cardstock with a slightly larger um, stitch rectangle. And I'm adhering that to another one of the plaid uh, papers from that same perfectly plaid chill pack. So I adhered those and then I'm just adhering that to my card base which is um, heavyweight white cardstock that was cut to four and a quarter by 11. So it's a A2 size card, four and a quarter by five and a half. So I have those layers first and then before I adhere the main portion I want to finish the inside. So I pull out the happy, happy, happy stamp set from Lawn Fawn. And I am just stamping the one of the happies onto this same blue um, plaid paper. And I'm going to stamp it with that Versamark ink. I'm going to coat it with the silver embossing powder, which at first doesn't look like it, you can't even read it. But once you melt the embossing powder, it makes it pop a little bit more. So I coated it with that silver embossing powder, and then I'm going to melt that with my heat tool. And I have the coordinating um, die set for that happy, happy, happy set. There's like three different versions of the word happy, and there's three different little dies. So I'm going to cut that out with the coordinating die. So again, taping it into place with just a little bit of washi tape. I'm going to run that through my Gemini Junior. And I have that. And then I wanted to add Valentine's Day sentiment. So I actually just pulled out the Happy Valentine's Day sentiment from the How You Been Conversation Heart Add-on stamp set. Say that three times fast. I just pulled that out and only inked up the words Valentine's Day with that intense, um, with that extreme black ink. And I'm going to adhere that happy word die cut right over it. So that finishes off the inside. Just gives it that little extra something. And then I'm going to adhere the focal point onto my card. I was about to leave it at this, but I wanted to add just a little extra something to fully finish it off. It really was bothering me that the light bulb was basically just like hanging there, but not actually hanging. It's just there. So I wanted it to look like it was hanging from something. So I added a little bit of black um, Nouveau crystal drops in a line to make it look like it was actually hanging on a string and then in my head when I was thinking about this card I kept thinking about how you know I used to have light bulbs like this you know in the basement in an old house different things that had that little silver chain hanging from it and that you'd pull you could it would still sometimes be attached to an actual light switch but more often than not there would be um, a chain to pull that you could turn and on and off the light so that's what kind of inspired this a little bit and I'm just using some um, silver lining Nouveau drops and a dotting tool and just dotting that over the light bulb and down the side there so it looks like that little silver chain. I thought it was just a little extra touch. So after, and I used the dotting tool just because it ha I had much more control and could see what I'm doing versus squeezing it from the bottle. I was terrified I was going to make a huge mess after doing all that work. And then just to finish off the card, I um, used the silver and the black and just added some actual little dots on either corner there of the card. And I had to fix that first little one I did because it kind of came out as a little, you know, blat. So fix that, and then I'm going to tap this um, against my embossing powder bottle, actually. Just going to tap that, and it helps kind of settle the um, crystal drops so they look more like enamel dots. So tap that really well, and then I'm going to let this sit and completely dry without touching it so I don't wreck anything. And that finished off the card, and when you press the little light switch, the light bulb lights up, and it just makes... It's so fun. So as always, I will have links below the video to my blog post with links to all the supplies used. You can check that out in the description box below the video as well as on my blog. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and commenting and thumbs upping my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.